To Chautauqua County now, where some brave souls took an icy dip in Lake Erie today. 7 News reporter Ryan Arbogast has more on this polar plunge for charity and who will benefit from this event and how it's making a return after COVID-19. Water so cold, the fire department had to clear the way. No problem for the brave swimmers decked out in costume, jumping right in. This is the 20th year uh, for the polar bear swim for, for charity down here, and, and uh, we're just happy to be here and uh, get a little cold, get a little wet for a great cause. Seven News caught up with longtime swimmer and state senator George Borello and his buddies still dripping wet right after they took part in the Silver Creek polar bear swim. How are you guys feeling right now? Numb, but it's a, but it's a good thing. It's for a good cause. Yeah, this, uh, the, the people don't realize the temperature of the water is uh, close to freezing right now. And we grabbed these two very cold penguins just as they were drying off. I'm starting to warm up slowly. Uh, my legs are still like icicles, but other than that, I'm getting better. The polar bear swim raises money for Oshai Children's Hospital and local EMS and fire companies right here in Chautauqua County. But like many other fundraisers and events, the pandemic forced them to go on pause. Any money you bring in is more than the charity had the day before. That's we Pamela Forge on the right, who has been running the show from behind the scenes since day one back in 2000. But her co-chair Judy prefers a little more hands-on approach. Dressing up while she acts like that sub-zero water is a hot tub. I still wear my polar bear costume. And while the day of fun is over, there's more on the way come mid-August. The pair's newest brainchild is a chicken swim to represent all those two chicken to make the polar plunge. Ryan Arbogast, 7 News Silver Creek.